Hey guys, alright, so today's video we're going to be removing this dash. This is a 1986 560 SEC, so it is the second gen of the 126 chassis. Um, so anything 85 and before might be a little bit different, but generally you could probably follow this guide and get where you need to be. Now this is basically just kind of regurgitated information from um, forums and reading forums. So the main things we're going to be concerned with removing a dash, you got to do a few things first. Number one is this has to come out. This panel down here has to come off. Your steering wheel doesn't have to come off, but it should. Also, this is a W124 steering wheel. I put it on because I liked it better, so don't look too much into that. Your steering wheel will, will look different. Um, you're going to want to get your gauge cluster out, uh, but let's walk you through those things. Um, first, let's start with the gauge cluster because it's kind of already almost out. When your gauge cluster is in here, uh, mine's already out, you would just take, you can take a, a hanger and curve it at the end, but literally a pack of these little tools on Amazon costs like six bucks for like a five pack of these and they come in so handy. So all you're doing is you're slipping this in there, you're hooking the back of it and pulling it out like this and pulling it out. So once this is out, there's going to be wires back here. These are your um, anti-lock SRS, stuff like that, your windshield wiper fluid, lights, things like that, sensor lights that you need to know about. And they're all labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, so you can put them back in. I'm going to take a Phillips, or I'm sorry, I'm going to take a flathead and pry this black clip off here real quick. Break it? Yeah, uh, <laughs> the tip of the... Uh, the black circular plug broke, but it can still be aligned and work just fine. Um, there's that. There's going to be a few things you just have to disconnect back here. Almost forgot. You want to pop the hood, man? Need to disconnect the battery. Baby, good job. Okay, batteries over there. I would. You might be able to just pull one of the terminals off. That's positive. That's negative. Try to pull the negative off. Will it spin? There you go. And then just get it away from the old, make sure it's not touching metal or nothing. There we go. All right, make sure you disconnect your battery before you start doing this stuff. You don't want to short something out. Okay, so everything is out except for this plug and I think it's just a uh, flathead pry out kind of thing. Although I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping. And it seems to be, it's coming out at least. Okay, and oh, can't pull that out. There we go. And those are all the connections. Go ahead and pull that whole gauge cluster out. There's one more. Uh, okay, yeah. Go ahead and pull those out. You should just pop. There you go. And that one as well. Yeah, there you go. Good job, baby. There you go, and that's the cluster. So the things that come out are this is just pull out, this pulls out, this pulls out. Um, all these are just the little, like these little bulbs like that, you pull them out. Um, so all those pull out, this pulls out, this pulls out, and there you go. And then you have your black um, that I didn't show on camera, the circle, which is that thing, and my little tab on the inside broke off, so I just have to make sure I line up the the outline of that tab with uh oh here's that yeah but it's all right mm. okay next we're gonna take steering wheel out all right we got a t30 um just take your steering wheel and rotate this spot up to the top and you're gonna get your t30 there <sighs> if you knew that was 17 minutes of fucking torture. Dear God. Okay, now my steering wheels, steering airbags off. Your steering wheel is gonna be different. Um, my steering wheel, I'm just gonna use impact. And well, I'll probably use, last time I didn't, I tried impact, but it didn't work. I'm just gonna use a breaker bar and a, we'll find out the size of the nut there, the hex nut. Meter, 10 millimeter seems to work or to fit in there. Throw this on the old breaker bar and we throw it in here. 
and we need to lock our steering wheel or might be able to just lock the steering wheel there we go ah there we go all right now this oh, middle bolt comes out and that's a beefy girthy bolt all right now steering wheel will just slide off you recording yeah there we go steering wheel's off and we're gonna put this nut in here so we don't forget it set the steering wheel aside so now we're taking off the lower uh driver's side dash piece there's gonna be two pieces of plastic one's right over here the other one is right there they're just long strips of plastic and just get your flathead pop out one side of them there you go and that side popped out okay so you got a screw there and you got two screws over there both are phillips go ahead and take those out and you remember when we installed the cruise control module and we had to like reach under there and do stuff yeah there's gonna be two screws down there as well but they're easy to reach. Now, once you got these three screws out, you'll see your lower dash piece kind of flexing and it's like it's ready to come out. There's gonna be a screw at the bottom of each side here. You're gonna have to get down there. <laughs> yeah, do some acrobatics. Oh yeah, they're like plastic? Yep. And you just rotate them like one turn. Oh. And they'll pop out. Yeah. Same with the other one. Okay. Oh, there's three. Oh, there's this oh, regular screw. Yeah, regular screw over there. Okay, now those screws are out. This whole bottom dash piece will come out. Here, hand it to me. There we go. Now that's out. Next is going to be this center panel here. You don't have to have it out, but you definitely have to have these there's some screws that screw into the top on each side of here those have to come out um, so what we're going to do is we're going to first take out the ashtray um, i have to throw it in neutral hit the brake put it in neutral pull that out there you go you can throw it back in park okay now this is going to come out these are your seat heaters and stuff Um, they should just slip on out, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Those are going to come out. And then you don't have to, you could unplug them, yeah. Might as well. Just be careful when you're doing it. Okay, and then take the stereo out and just slip it out. Okay, and you can just set it off to the side. And then the um, AC and HVAC and all that stuff should slide down, I think. Down and out. Yeah, there we go. Now there's gonna be a bunch of stuff to unplug from the back of that. And I don't know if we have to unplug any of this. Not 100% sure if we need to or not. Okay, so we're gonna have to unplug all the stuff from the AC. We're gonna do that real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got two screws under here. Um, we took the whole the pod out there, the AC HVAC pod. This is gonna be a screw right under here. And both of these screws hold on your dash. So these are two screws you have to get out. All right, both of those are out. Okay, okay, in here are gonna be some clips. There's gonna be one, two, three. There's gonna be some on top as well. I believe one, two, three, four on top. And you're just going to get underneath them and get these bad boys out like that one at a time to get the glove box out. Remember, this, all this stuff that we're doing before is just the preliminary stuff to be able to pull the dash. Once we get all this stuff done, it's kind of a breeze-ish. But you got to do all this tedious small stuff first. And it, it gets a little tiring and it's, it's a little bit... Uh, like like I said, tedious. That's the worst part about it, is the tediousness. Remembering where things go. This out. Come on. There we go. One more. And then there's going to be a light in the glove box back here as well. 
and we're gonna take it out as well this light right here the courtesy light we're gonna unplug it pop pop like that now the glove box should slide out Boom. easy peasy all right I forgot the whole reason we're doing this is because this Mercedes, if you can tell, it has a dash uh, pad on it. Let's actually take this dash pad off and see what's underneath. I was told that it was put on because it had a cracked dash and that's why I ordered a whole new dash. It'd be funny if there's no cracks under here. Yeah, <laughs> it'd kind of be nice. Yeah. Oh, it's like glued on there, so. Yeah. <sighs> Secret note, AccuForm Plastics, part number 712, in case you need a dash pad, part number 712 from AccuForm Plastics. Okay. Yeah, see if you can get that end out. There we go. Or if, uh, if somebody needs this and wants it, if you will pay for shipping, I'll ship this to you for free. There's definitely some cracks. So, what we're gonna do, is this is the key, right? The key to getting the dash out is really simple. There's more screws down here somewhere we haven't got yet, but let's actually, let's get those. Okay, so underneath here on this passenger footwell, here's the dash, passenger footwell right under here, there's gonna be some screws. You got some along this plastic um, strip there. And then there's some in the carpeted area, like right here. I think those are the, probably the most important ones. I'm assuming, but I don't know for sure. See this right here, Ben? Yeah. That, where my finger is? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna wanna unscrew that. <laughs> and I don't know if we need to take these out. Again, I'm just kind of going by what I read from the forums and putting this into video form so somebody can actually visualize it and see. Okay, that's our kick panel. You can kind of set it off to the, or like pull it out if you can. Might give you better access to that part. Okay, there we go. That's out. Okay. Okay. Um, up here, there is also going to be, this is at the corner. Um, you're going to see this right here. You're going to have to take this. I think it's a 7 16 or whatever the millimeter equivalent of that is out. Okay. It should be 10 millimeter. And I'm going to use a wrench and not a socket. Getting a socket in there is going to be a nightmare. Here's your nut. Here's your big thick washer. And that's for that right there. Just feel how, see how this dash is loose here? It's like all ready to, you can feel it like ready to come out. All right, now that all this is out, the one thing holding the dash in is this right here, these central vents. So within these central vents, and we're gonna try and focus the camera on these, are a set of screws. There we go. See that screw right in there? That's inside your vent. There's one on the other side as well. I'm gonna go under here so you can see it. Kind of that screw right up in there in your vent. You're gonna have to get a thin um, magnet, get a magnetic tipped uh, Phillip. Don't get those screws confused with these screws up here. These three screws right here are just to hold in your, um, your, uh, your burl wood trim here. It's just part of the support system for it. Okay, so yeah, push it all the way in. We can kind of push it in there. That'll work. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Yeah, there we go. Also, I was wrong about the speaker covers. We're gonna remove those because I believe there is a bolt holding the um, holding the uh, dash on underneath these. What I'm doing, if you don't have a little low profile thing, take a quarter inch socket and put it on a, a small driver or your quarter inch driver, whatever, and then put a little Phillips bit inside the quarter inch socket and that will get your little screws out. You'll have clearance to do that. 
you can see it coming up. Hex bolt right up there. That's gonna have to come out. Same on the other side. And there should be one underneath this in the middle somewhere. There's this piece of plastic that covers this one. When you pull it out, uh, flip it over. There's two little tabs holding it in. We just kind of pried it out and with a prayer and it came out without breaking. Um, so now we're using a four millimeter Allen basically and taking these bolts out. Okay, we're using some pliers and the hex head and just a slow process of doing this over and over. And now it's uh, able to be hand unscrewed Putting this back in is gonna suck. And then we just do the uh, same thing for the other bolt. All right, so that came out and this is much looser now. So I think we're a lot closer here. Okay, now there's some more screws right under. Can you see that screw right there? Here. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna take that one out. That's holding the bottom of the uh, HVAC stuff in. And there should be one on the other side as well. And then once these two screws are out, we should be able to get this whole pod out. We need to disconnect. And we're pushing it in further. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so now we got to figure out what's stopping us from progressing further here. What is stopping you? It's got to be a cord. It's not a cord. The parking? Oh. Uh, get that bolt, look off your face. The bolts I told him to take out. He's, no, we don't need to take them off. Take the camera. We need Shut to. Your Show the people the bolts we need to take out. You gotta really get this sucker out of your way because it's at an upwards angle. There we go. Okay, that's out, kind of. Now we just have to... I think it'll like, go behind it if you push it. Oh, look how much looser it is now. Yeah. Oh yeah, the chain will. Okay, maybe, let me see. <sighs> um, so there's like a... Um, a little claw hook and the chain's wrapped into it. I'm just trying to get my big fat fingers in there and do, get it out. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. This should be the moment of truth. We should be able to get the dash out. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. Pump me up. Right up. Okay. Luckily, the new dash has this piece, so, but frick. Um, all right. How... Go. Yeah, not the greatest looking. And there we go. Life is good, folks. We got it. All right, and that's how you do it. Um, next video, I'm going to be showing you um, speaker install. Um, how to install front speakers and rear speakers in this thing and amplify it so you can bypass the whole um what was it bosch it wasn't bosch it was like uh i forget the, the name of the amps in the system but i'm gonna be doing a whole video on that so that'd be pretty cool but yeah this is dash removal 560 sec w126 is pretty much all the same thing this is the second gen so it's 86 to 91 and yeah we should have dropped the steering column down it's just two bolts. Could have dropped it down and saved ourselves a headache there at the end. That's the one mistake we made. 
Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Right. Perfect timing. Mm -hmm. All right. Later, guys.